Hello folks and welcome Pop OS 2204 LTS long-term support. GNOME Desktop. Today I'm going to talk about custom themes and custom icon sets. As a matter of fact, if you look right below this terminal box, you'll see very colorful icons on the dock. Candy icons, or maybe we should call it eye candy. In either case, it's not everybody's cup of tea. I will explain how to do this completely from scratch for any user. You're really just going to install one tool through Top Pop Shop, and then you're going to create two manual folders. And then I'll show you a website where you can download over 1500 different themes and um, well, several hundred of uh, icon sets and also mouse pointers or mouse cursors. I'm Icelandic, so sometimes I describe things a little differently. I also have lots of different ways of doing things. Welcome folks. Today I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. My video will be more than two minutes. All my videos have timelines and chapters. And I do encourage that you subscribe and check out my videos. Alt F4 to close this window. Now I'm using a very colorful piece of wallpaper that came from wallpaperswide.com. And then I also have very colorful icons on my file manager. I'm going to resize these on the fly. I also have lots of videos for tips like this for you to let you see what I'm doing here. I'm not really going to discuss all those tips and tricks. But more importantly, Alt F4, I'm going to talk about installing one tool and creating two folders. And then I'll show you a website where you can get a whole ton of these colorful things. Welcome, folks. Let's head on over to Pop Shop. Your icon will look probably different. So type in TWE, as in GNOME Tweaks. That's what you're looking for. Install this particular application. You can do a lot of stuff with it. All right, GNOME Tweaks. So install that. Alt F4 to close. So open up your file manager. Mine is obviously very colorful and uh, you can click the hamburger menu as somebody called it and then click show hidden files. You can also hit control H, control H as in Henry to show hidden files and folders. What I want you to do is right click on your screen and create a new folder. Start with a dot or a period. Start with a dot or a period and call it dot icons dot icon spell lowercase letters then I want you to create another folder call it dot themes also lowercase make sure there's an s on the themes part theme themes icons themes what's in here I have three themes sweet and bar blue sweet and bar blue dark and sweet dark I'll show you which one I'm using a little bit later because it'll have a bearing on how this looks also. What is in the other folder? In the data icons folder. Maybe you've seen some of my videos over the last several years of how to install mouse cursors or mouse pointers. I'm Icelandic, so I describe things a little differently sometimes. This is the only mouse cursor or mouse pointer. These are candy icons, and these are different types of file manager views also in dot icons. I'll show you these three. The nice thing about installing these things in these folders is you can delete them individually or in bulk. You can also pull them out of your trash can in case you change your mind. Same thing goes with your themes. So whether you install 50 icon themes, you can delete the 48 if you don't like them and save some hard drive space. You can actually, the actual theme itself, install, let's say, 50 themes. They're just in a folder. You delete them at will. Keep the ones you like, delete the ones you don't. All right, with that said, you just create that folder and that folder, and you're good to go. When you do, they're empty. And I'll show you where to get these files in a second. Before I do that, I'm going to give you a quick demo on these things. Again, this is the smaller version and that's the larger version of these icons. 
So I'm going to open up the tweak tool and talk about a couple things if you've never used this tool. This is GNOME Tweaks. Okay. First of all, I'll talk about the title bars and then get this out of the way and then I'll continue. If you are wanting to move these buttons from the right to the left side, okay, you can also see it up here because it switches at the same time I do this. These will move over to here in a second. Now they're over here. They're just grayed out because that's the active window. You can also turn off buttons. Now you can see one of those disappeared here and here. Turn them back off, turn them back on. Under appearance, we have applications. These are installed in dot themes, dot themes in your file manager. This is Ambar Blue. Looks like that. This is Sweet Dark. Looks like that. And the other one is the Ambar Blue Dark. Well, you'll see a purple tint where it says Appearance. Now that's blue. Tint. A little darker version of that, as one would say. Now I'm going to skip over cursor for a second and talk about icons. Where is this stuff installed? These are installed in the same location as cursors. The icons is in dot icons. The candy icons is currently what you're viewing. These colorful looking ones here. The sweet blue I also downloaded. And the rainbow. Kind of like that one. Show you the smaller version of that and a larger version of that. And then I have another one called yellow. These are still the same. So I can switch this up to this one and get a different viewpoint by mixing. So um, this is your normal standard mouse pointer or cursor. And this one is the radioactive. Where is this one installed? The same place as this yellow icon set. Control H. It's installed here. I will add um, one or two of these a little bit later if you're curious. So I'm going to leave this as radioactive and I'm going to switch these to what do I want to use? Want to use the rainbow or we want to use candy? I'll, use, I'll just switch it over to candy so they'll be solid. And what's this one looks like? This is the lighter version or would you like the darker version of that? Again, that all and that also changed to purple. This one's blue. So we have all kinds of combinations. So recap, install the tweak tool through PopShop and create yourself two folders. The dot icons and the dot themes. Now I'm going to turn off hidden and talk about location of where to find some of these things. Alt F4. So I'm going to open up my web browser. My icon looks different than yours, I'm sure. And I am going to go to this website, my website. And you don't have to do this. I'm just pointing out the fact that if you are a subscriber or want to become a subscriber, you'll have some links and some extra videos for you. I'm currently at 162. My previous channel had 450. So yes, I have made over 600 videos in the last uh, several, several years. Now, if you're using a standard web browser and you can see these links in here, click the foot. It goes to gnome-look.org. If you don't see these links here, go to the About section, scroll to the bottom, and find the gnome-look.org here. This is a non-profit website. I believe most of the Linux distros probably get their material from here also. GTK 3 and 4 themes. I don't know if you can read that number, but it says 1530. Let me resize that for you on the fly. So basically 1530. Let me resize this back. So you can do this by ratings. You can do this by searches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this area here, and then I'm going to click in here and type in the word sweet. Okay, and hit enter. 
If you get a different result, then move your mouse cursor in this field and then type the same word and sometimes you get a different result in the search field, believe it or not. So the suite folders are currently here and um, they have 13 files. So um, I have a couple of the yellow ones and uh, some of the other colors that I got from here. Okay, the folders in other words. The icons, candy icons, give you a larger version of that. There's only one file. And basically this is all you do is click these things. All right, let's talk about the themes. Sweet new flavor, interesting name. So I have out of this 12 files, I have this one downloaded. I have um, the uh, this one downloaded. And I think it was one more. I'll have to look at my file manager for a second. Let me turn on hidden for a second. Uh, sweet Ambar Blue, Dark, and Sweet Dark. So let me go look for those. So the Sweet Dark is this one. The Blue is that one. Uh, blue Dark, I'm sorry. And then the other one said Blue on it. So it's one of these files in here. All right. So anyways, you can see there's lots of choices. That's what I'm getting at. All right. That was just themes. So there's 1,530. I wouldn't say everything is perfect, but you can probably find a lot of things that will work for you. And uh, more importantly, you just whatever appeals to you. Same thing goes with cursors or mouse pointers. Again, I'm Icelandic, so I describe things a little bit differently than some folks do and maybe some other things. But more importantly, you can certainly click that by ratings. You can also search by names. This happens to be this mouse cursor or pointer that I'm using. It's called Radioactive. And you get it from this file right here. All you do is download that. This also has a very good description of what I've been talking about. So the dot icons folder, again, a hidden folder in your home directory or folder is where those mouse cursors or pointers go. Also your icon themes, also your icon themes. So what is this folder here? User share icons, a non hidden folder, but it's protected with root permissions. Let me open up tweaks for a second. And uh, if you want me to use a different theme, I will. I'll use the blue one. This way it'll look like that. More importantly, this particular mouse cursor or pointer is located there. It's installed exactly in that same location on your system. User share icons protected by root permissions. You can certainly put these themes in there, but it's just harder. It's a lot easier to deal with this folder. You don't need root permissions and normally you're the only person using this kind of stuff. The current logged in user. This is considered system wide installation. In other words, all users. And in most cases, this is sufficient for you to install these kind of things, whether they're cursors or themes. The cursors obviously go into dot icons and the themes go into dot themes. And don't forget, um, not only do the cursors go in here, but also your icon themes, your candy icon, in, in other words, or these other ones with the blue folders and the rainbow folders. In other words, this one here. Let me find, uh, let's put a W in there. That's better. Okay, in other words, um, the icons themselves. You remember I had this rainbow one also? That also is in dot icons because I'm using the uh, tweak tool and I'm pointing to this folder in dot icons. That's exactly where this is coming from. And this one is yellow. Blue filled. Candy icons. Close. Close. All right. I could have used Alt F4. All right, so again, this is gnome-look.org. If you're not a subscriber, I encourage that you subscribe. If not, hand write this down. So 1,530 themes, I'm sure you can find one or two things that you like in there. Alt F4 to close. 
And on that note, I will say thank you for watching.